René Magritte was born in Belgium in the year 1898. He is known for his surrealist painting. Magritte's work often displays a collection of ordinary objects in an unusual context, giving new meanings to familiar things. This is joined to his desire to create poetic imagery. He described the act of painting as the art of putting colors side by side in such a way that their real aspect is effaced, so that familiar objects, the sky, people, trees, mountains, furniture, the stars, graffiti, become united in a single poetically disciplined image. The poetry of this image dispenses with any symbolic significance old or new. His work is made to make us question and think about objects in new ways. Join me now as we create a René Magritte inspired Dove in a Landscape painting. So for today's René Magritte inspired art lesson, you are going to need either oil pastels or crayons in just a couple colors like um, yellow or white, something light colored, uh, some watercolors, or if you don't have watercolor paints, you can use water soluble markers and go over them with water when you're finished. So either way, you'll need a brush and a bowl of water as well. It's handy to have a paper towel or a rag close by. And then you're going to need either this Dove outline, which is on our blog site. You could print it onto a cardstock or a thicker printer paper, as I've done, or you can print it onto regular paper and trace it, or you can just look at it um, on your computer screen and draw freehand. You're going to need that a little bit smaller than a normal piece of paper. And then whichever paper you're going to work with for your background, I recommend something a little bit thicker or sturdier to do your watercolor on in an eight and a half by 11 or a nine by 12 size. So you will also need scissors and glue for this project. So we're going to begin by painting the bird and I'm going to cut on this line so it doesn't show up in my finished product. I'm actually going to paint on the background and then that black line won't show up even if I'm a little sloppy with my cutting. So I'm going to start by drawing some um, stars or clouds on my bird. I'm going to make my bird a night scene and then the background a daytime scene. So I'm putting some star shapes on the back of my bird with oil pastel or crayon. And then I'm going to paint over this entire area with a light wash of watercolor. Now this is supposed to be a night sky so I'm going to mix up a really dark blue over here in the lid of my paint tray. If you don't have a lid for your watercolor paints, you can just use a styrofoam or a plastic plate, a piece of foil or a piece of wax paper works well. So I'm going to mix some blue with purple and even a touch of black. It's going to look very dark when I'm finished mixing. And I'm going to go over that entire area behind where my bird is. And if you want it a little darker, some watercolors never get very dark. It just depends on the transparency of that color. So what you could do is allow this to dry and 
and then go over it a second time if you want a more saturated color but i'm happy with that it looks like kind of a dusk sky so when i cut that bird out i'll have this sky on the reverse so i'm going to put this aside to dry for now it's hard to cut paper when it's wet so now i'm going to wipe up my work area so i don't get paint everywhere and now I'm going to do my background. I'm going to make a landscape here with a daytime sky and then some mountains and land. So I'll do kind of a mountain horizon here near the bottom of my paper. And then I'm going to put, um, I'm going to use a little white scrap of oil pastel or crayon if you have a little broken piece that's perfect so I'm going to use the side of that and color some areas white in the shape of a cloud I know this is hard to see on the camera it's hard to see while you're working as well but if you just make some scribbles with your white crayon or oil pastel you'll see what happens when we go to paint it in a few minutes with the watercolor okay so this time my sky is going to be a little brighter like a daytime sky so I want a lighter blue I'm gonna start with almost pure water there was a little blue left in my brush and I'll add more color to it. And you can already see where I scribbled with the side of the white crayon. It is pushing away or resisting the paint. And that's exactly what we wanted to happen here. So it kept that sky white and I just have to brush a nice blue wash over my sky and that oil pastel does the work of creating those clouds for me it's kind of cool if you would like to make your sky a little more interesting you could add a touch of some pink or orange or even some yellow to the sky Another thing you can do if you didn't make enough clouds while your watercolor is still wet, you can blot it with a paper towel or a Kleenex works even better and pull some of that blue sky back to make some more cloud shapes. Okay, so I'm happy with that sky and now I'm going to paint the mountains and the land down here. So I'm going to make Kind of a light grayish color, grayish purple for these mountains, and then a greenish blue for the lower mountains. And your paints might mix together, especially if you didn't create solid outlines to act kind of like fences to keep those paints apart. That's okay. It's one of the fun things about watercolor is that sometimes it does things a little different than how you intended. So you might get a surprise. Alright, so there are the sky and the mountains for my background landscape. Now let's see if our bird is dry enough to cut out. I'm going to set this aside for a few minutes now for that to dry as well. And now we can cut out our bird. OK, 
Okay, this paper is slightly damp, but not too bad. I think I can cut it out. This would be a good time to take a little break and walk your dog, get a snack if you need to wait for your paper to dry more. So to make this easier to cut, I'm going to cut first just kind of big shapes. And you can keep this paper, it's great for making a collage later. Okay, now we've got our night sky dove. And our background, I'm going to get some glue to glue this on here. Today I'm using some regular white liquid glue. If you have a good glue stick, you are welcome to use that. I find that the liquid glue holds much better when you're working with these thick and painted papers. So I put some on like so. Then I'm going to dry off my paintbrush and spread that glue onto my collage piece so it's covered more completely and there's not big globs of glue. And immediately go ahead and rinse or wash this paintbrush out because that glue will ruin your brush. So I'm going to put it over here in my water bowl. And now I've got my dove. Do I want my dove flying this way more or more upright? I think I like him right here. So I'm going to press him on. If you miss some spots with the glue you can always pull up a corner and put a little bit more glue just like so so press all your edges down so it lays as flat and neatly as possible and there you have your Magritte inspired dove in a landscape I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to uh, like us and follow our YouTube channel. And I love to see your artwork. So have your parents take a picture of your art. Email it to jennifer at blowingrockmuseum.org.